this new flick shot technique is shockingly accurate and consistent, despite how risky it looks. I'm not aware if there's a name for it already, but I like to think of it as an informed flick. And just before I get into explaining how it all works, I'm aware that people have aimed like this before, I just don't think it's ever really been properly explored. And the potential of this technique, particularly in the aim training era, is totally untapped. There is so much flicking accuracy that's just being left on the table and I hope to change that here. The whole idea of a flick shot is to quickly move your crosshair from one place to another. And we know how far to move it based on the distance between our crosshair and the target. This is great because over time, we learn what mouse movements are needed for different flick distances, which can let us get very consistent. The takeaway there is that to perform an informed flick shot, we need two things, and that is to know our crosshair position and the position of our target. Knowing this, we can move the mouse the appropriate distance. The problem is, in typical FPS gameplay, these two crucial variables get sabotaged. Your own movement constantly moves your crosshair, and so does your mouse. If you're trying to keep your crosshair near the enemy, you're constantly shifting that target's position around your screen, on top of the movement they're already doing, unless you were to somehow perfectly track every target. What this means is that your movement and mouse movement make assessing your exact crosshair position and the position of the target unreliable. You can't make a good assessment when both variables are constantly changing, this makes the flick uninformed. You absolutely can still land shots like this, and the vast majority of all flick shots happening across the world right now will be done under these conditions. If you find that your flicks aren't consistent, there's a good chance that this is the reason, and it's not your fault, you just don't have the information you need to move your mouse the correct distance. You've got bad intel. The whole premise of the informed flick is that you only move your mouse during the flick shot, Outside of that, it stays still and the only thing moving your crosshair is your own movement. You can see here that I get pushed when I'm scanning and as soon as I look in her direction, my mouse stops moving. Then it flicks, stops moving, flicks, stops moving, flicks, stops moving. Stopping in between shots lets us keep our screen as still as possible, letting us gather the information and make an informed decision about how far to move our mouse for the next shot. Not only does this make judging the flick distance easier, it also breaks up your flicks into their own explicit movements. If you need to flick while you're tracking something, your hand is already under some amount of tension and performing another task, and swapping it to something as precise as a flick shot on the fly like that can be unreliable. If you sometimes have those fights where you're wildly flicking all over the place, that's probably why your wires are getting a bit crossed. Now, the topic of rebound versus dead stop flicks deserves its own video, but I'll quickly touch on it here. Broadly speaking, rebounds tend to be a little more accurate and a bit easier to do than dead stops. When going for informed flicks, whether you rebound or dead stop the flick will largely come down to the weapon's fire rate. Something relatively fast, like the wingman in Apex at 2.6 shots per second, dead stops are more suitable. With the limited time between shots, we want our hand to stop moving as soon as possible so we have a moment to judge the distances before it's ready to fire again. If you rebound the flick, you're essentially doubling the time that your hand is moving. And like we covered earlier, any time your hand is moving, your ability to judge the distances is being compromised. A slower weapon like Cassidy's Revolver in Overwatch at two shots per second, you'll probably find that you have some time to rebound if that's what you like to do. Now that we know what an informed flick is, I'll rapid fire some tips, tricks and optimizations for using it. Typically, mid to lower sensitivities will benefit most from this technique, whereas higher sensitivities would usually benefit more from a tracking and micro flicking style instead. Be careful of having your crosshair drift too far away between shots. This can happen if they move one way and you move another. If you notice this and you're not confident in longer ranged flicks, change your strafe to close or at least stop that gap from widening further. If you are rebounding your flicks, you may need to shorten the rebound distance if they are moving the same direction as your flick. If not, this can create an enormous gap and can even move them off screen. You don't always need to flick every shot when doing this. When your crosser is only being moved by your own movement, you can sometimes use this to aim, kind of like aiming on controller. You'll also find that enemies will sometimes walk through your crosshair and you simply need to click at the right time for a free hit. 
Now, this technique benefits greatly from aim training, and in particular static clicking. Learning what mouse movements correlate with different distances on screen is what can take this technique to the next level. I should also mention that many of the clips used in the background of this video, I've essentially added artificial difficulty. If you see me zooming in or ADSing excessively far away from the target for a huge flick, that's just me having fun pushing my aim in casual modes like Team Deathmatch. In a more serious situation, I'd be trying to aim as little distance as possible. I genuinely think that a better understanding of this technique and treating it as its own skill, rather than flick shots all just being flick shots, can lead to a huge boost to the aiming skill cap. If you'd like to chat about this technique, I'll be in the Aim Theory channel in the members only Discord. So if you'd like to directly support the channel and unlock some nice perks, please consider becoming a member. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend checking out this video all about focus, which is honestly essential to making informed flick shots really work. Thanks so much for watching, be sure to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch you in the next one.